what would 90s kid make of this podcast? This podcast was awesome, man! In 2010, a man and his crew started a podcast on the internet, but they were distracted by real life for a challenge they couldn't commit to. This crew promptly escaped from real life to the internet. Today, still wanted by real life, they survive as podcasters of fortune. If you are bored, if nothing else can excite you, and if you can find them, maybe you can listen to Attack of the Awesome. Hello and welcome to Attack of the Awesome Podcast. What? I heard Sorry. What? <laughs> I just said, take one. <laughs> I'm contemplating whether or not we should uh, just keep going with this now, since we're already into it. There we go. We're we're just going to start there. Welcome to Attack of the Awesome. I'm your host, Chris. Along for this wild ride with me, as always, is Susie and Mike. Susie, how are you? I'm fantabulous today, Chris. Thank you. You're welcome. And how are you today, Mike? (laughs) Excellent! I'm just excellent, dude. Ready to party 24-7, man. Okay. You're also on drugs. Yeah, the drugs are back. Nah. <laughs> had, a, had, a little bit, had a little bit to drink before you started this, Mike? Maybe, maybe not. I'll keep it a secret. <laughs> that means yes. Anyway... Well, I guess we should just start this because <laughs> we're a little out of it today, but that's okay. And we'll start, as always, what's happening on the thatguywiththeglasses.com forums and on thatguywiththeglasses.com itself. Uh, Susie, we'll start with you for this segment. Uh, any kind of interesting videos you've seen either on the main site or on the forums? Um... Well, as usual, on the main ones, checking out dogs, sprats, y- you know, the whole, the whole spiel. Um, I love Doug's recent, the, the next uh, commercials video. Do you remember the video that he did with the commercials in between his break from My Pet Monster? He did, he did the second one uh, this week, and it was even more entertaining than the last one. I thought the first one was pretty good, but this one was hysterical, I thought. Um, there's a lot of the adverts that I'd actually seen, which which made it more interesting. It was like the, the Guess Who game. I was like, I used to play that. Um, and as ever, he's just hysterical with <laughs> it. <laughs> and I had to watch the... I watched yesterday, actually, the newest Ask That Guy With The Glasses. Just for the tagline, does Justin Bieber have a penis? I thought, oh, God, I've got to watch that. And he didn't disappoint. But there was a little bit of a lull I felt from the Dungeons & Dragons video. Um, But he's picked it up again. He's back on form. Um, And on the forums, uh, what was I watching... Well, the last one I watched again was the epic movie, uh, one from Detroit, Metworks, just because I cameoed it. <laughs> but it was a re- it's a really entertaining uh, review that he did. Um, so there we go. I've rambled long enough. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Mike? Uh, Susie pretty much some the majority of it, but I, the ones I've seen for the past couple of weeks is uh, Brad released uh, 80s Dan. That's Yay. I was like, yeah. holy holy crap, he actually created a series. It's really good. Yeah. I was watching that, and uh, of course, Nostalgia Critic, as usual, and shit, that's pretty much it. The Sim Snob has a couple of had the uh, public domain month I was watching. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I did see the Detroit Met Works uh, review of Epic Movie, which is pretty funny, especially with Susie's cameo in it. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty oh, much cool. what... Yeah. Uh, yeah. I have been watching my own videos, of course. Of course. And that's it. 
exclusive to me this week. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I've watched some other people's videos. Of, I've watched uh, the Cartoon Heroes review of uh, the Titanic, The Legend Continues. Mm-hmm. It was it was weird, but hey. <laughs> and uh, as for the main site, uh, I've been watching the obvious people, so pretty much you guys took all of them away. I'm not going last on this one anymore because you guys said them all. Anyways, let's move on to our next segment about music's biggest fight. And this is the Grammys. They're going to just talk about a couple of the awards and who won our thoughts on them and, and all that fun stuff. So uh, let's start with um, the first one, which was Record of the Year. Uh, it was won by Need You Now by Lady Antebellum. Yeah, I, was, any, any of- I wasn't expecting that. I was hoping that uh, Eminem would uh, uh, win Record of the Year. Because he had a really good record for, for that year. Yeah, no, maybe maybe it's just me, but what is the difference between Record of the Year and Song of the Year? Uh, the Record of know. the Year. They, they don't have them over here. The, yeah. For me, the record is the, uh, like, the album. Pretty much, which is the same thing, actually. I don't know. This might get us. I don't think this is an album because these are all just the, the song. I don't know. Maybe, I don't make... know. maybe I'm just out of I, it. I don't know. I don't know. Well, it's not like any, song, not like any of these songs were released on vinyl, so not that's not like what it means. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Mm-hmm. It's unusual that... Hot crowd, huh? <laughs> No, usually, uh, I would think from that, my interpretation would be the record, like, the highest one, like, it, how high it was in the charts. Like, the single of the year could be any one that was in the charts, but the record of the year could be one that's in, like, the top ten. I don't know, that's just my interpretation, because uh, we don't get the Grammys over here. Um, we get the Brit Awards. Um, but... Sounds so, so much better. Yeah. <laughs> I've I've heard a few yeah. of uh, Lady Ant- Antebellum's records and I, and I quite like them, but I'm more a Rihanna fan and I like that the love the way you lie with her and Eminem. So surprised I didn't win. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of wanted CeeLo Green to win. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I suppose we should move on to the second award, which was Album of the Year, which was won by The Suburb uh, by Arcade Fire. Hmm. Yes. Don't know how, but... Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> weird how they won that over the big... Lady Annabelle, Lady Gaga, and Eminem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's uh, underdog. That's, uh-huh. It always seems... To- it always seems to be the, the really obscure ones that win, even though the, like, Lady Gaga's one's been released God knows how many times. It's one of my favorite albums. Um, and Eminem's is, is really good as well, but they just seem to go with really obscure ones. Yeah. Yeah. Well, our next award, the next award wasn't really obscure and pretty obvious. It won Record of the Year. It also won Song of the Year. It's Need You Now by... Uh, Lady in a Well. <laughs> I don't know how. Yeah. It's... Win both. You win one, go home. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And that brings but... us to the award that everybody did talk... Oh, sorry. No, it's okay, sorry. What were you going to say? No, nothing. Now we're going yeah. to the award... Going to the award that everybody's been talking about, and that is... Best new artist, and everybody was so upset that it was not Justin Bieber. But I'm so happy that it wasn't. It was <laughs> Esperanza Spalding, who I've never heard of. Yeah, I never heard of him either. Yeah. I was like, really? They just took the award away from Justin Bieber. 
Way to go, guys. <laughs> well, if I could have gone to anybody else, I would have said Drake, but... Yeah. Esperanza Spalding? Yeah, I never heard of him, but... Good for them. Yeah. But Justin I think Bieber it's does... a person. Yeah, Justin Bieber doesn't deserve it. Wait, he's got a movie out. He's only, what, 12? I don't know. But... <laughs> He looks 12, and oh, he's, he's just a wee pipsqueak. He sounds 12. Yeah, he, he sounds 12. <laughs> he's just a wee idiot. I don't like him. He's, he's yeah. just one of these stage, he reminds me of stage school kids. You get it, I am so special. I'm Justin Bieber. <laughs> I make millions of dollars. Worship me, world. Oh, I hate, oh, I hate kids like that. When I found out that he had a movie, I was just kind of like, don't you usually have to, like, do something before you get a movie? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. What, is it meant to be, like, his life story or something? That's, that's what I've been Yeah, and that's what it is pretty I don't know much. How that, I don't know how he that works either. His life story. He doesn't have a story. Even, like, 15 years old. He hasn't <laughs> had a life yet. It's like these kids on American Idol that are what... 15 or something saying my life is ruined because I've been cast aside from American Idol get a fucking teenager get a life <laughs> Jesus I, I, I didn't watch did the crying fat kid make it uh, I don't know because um, we're, we're a bit behind with it over here um, what's his name I really like him he's really good Yes, JC. I really like him. Um, they don't tell me if he's out because I don't want to know yet. I mean, uh, I don't know. Every week. I, I know that uh, country made it. Oh, did he? Oh, good. Who's, who's the one uh, I want? The to... Scotty guy. No, Scott. Yeah, he's he's good. I like Casey. And there's a, a a girl that's really good. She sang a really old-fashioned song in her first audition. Anyway, going way off track. <laughs> Justin Bieber sucks. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. That's the bottom line. Justin Bieber sucks in American Idol Weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just remember the drug lady. And I don't want to get off track anymore, but there was a lady who was on drugs. I know it. She got married <laughs> in Vegas. <laughs> now we move on to the best female pop vocal performance and it was won by Lady Gaga for Bad Romance pretty obvious I wouldn't have disagreed with it yeah no it's awesome that song I would agree mm-hmm. yeah no way I'd give it to Katy Perry or Beyonce and I don't know the other people so yeah. N- Nora Jones. To uh, the best ma- Sorry, I, I I just saw the title Maybe for Nora, Nora Jones' latest track. And the, I'm not I'm not heard it, but it sounds really intriguing for her. Cheating pirates. Cheating pirates. Arr. <laughs> Names are Russell Black Whiskers, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Yay! Chasing woodland creature pilots. <laughs> I'll get ya, Nora. <laughs> <laughs> well, with that, that brings us to the best male pop vocal performance, which was won by Bruno Mars for "Just the Way You Are." And again, that's probably what I would have picked. Susie, you probably would have picked Adam Lambert, but I probably would have gone with Bruno Mars. No, 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 no. It's, I would have been stuck with this one, actually. I love Bruno Mars' song, but I also love um, Michael Bublé, Michael Jackson, and Adam Lambert. Adam Lambert, I think, is the best singer in the world. Michael Jackson is a yeah. god. Michael Bublé is uh, uh, lovely. And <laughs> Bruno Mars is bubbly. lovely. Yes. I no, didn't say lovely, I said bubbly. No, I know. Bubbly with a B. <laughs> No, the Michael Jackson's song, that's my alarm clock every morning. I get Michael Jackson's This Is It waking me up every morning, so I would have picked that one, probably. So, yay, that's my alarm clock. Yeah. <laughs> but I love the I love Bruno Mars. Yeah, 
I like Bruno so much too. I like that song. Anyway, uh, we're on now to best pop performance by a duo or group with vocals, as opposed to a duo or group without vocals. <laughs> and it was won by was won by a soul sister by Train, who apparently still makes music. Hey, they're they're kind of cool. And they beat out the Glee cast. Yeah, that that is that is just. Oh, there's no word for that. I love Glee. I, I am the Glee of this podcast, so I will be saying, what the fuck is up with that? You like Glee? I love Glee. Absolutely adore it. It's the highlight of my week. Apart from how I met your mother. <laughs> yes, there is an official Gleek on the yep. Attack of the Awesome. <laughs> so... So I take it you don't want a cameo in the review where I review Gleek and tear it a new one? <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'd, I'd probably be sitting there with my jaw. You want to be a part of that? On the floor. <laughs> I love Glee. Should be like a posing. Yeah. How could you? <laughs> Glee yeah. is the best. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna yeah. be. I'm gonna be doing the Valentine. I'm probably gonna be reviewing the Valentine's episode. As soon as they started covering Queen, I was like, no, bad Glee, bad. <laughs> it's not for me. I've not seen that one yet. Anyway. Oh, I saw that, that one. <laughs> the only one I had a problem with was the, the Rocky Horror Picture Show one, because I hate that fucking show. That's the only one I had a problem yeah. with. Yeah, I figured you would. Anyway, that brings us to best pop collaboration with vocals, as again, as opposed to without vocals. Yeah. <laughs> with was, baby chickens. <laughs> it was won by Imagine. Which was Her, Herbie Hancock, uh, Pink. Yeah. Uh, India, India R. Air. Seal. Seal. No, no, number one. Jack Canona. Beck and Omo <laughs> Sangar. I don't know. <laughs> So it's like a cigar. Like a For the gentleman in you. <laughs> <laughs> and it pretty much it beat out uh B O B Eminem Haley Williams for Airplane. Uh, it beat out Elton John, that's one with beat, Leon Russell. That's it an, beat the uh, telephone telephone girls. That's surprising. Yeah, well, those are easy to beat. Those songs are those are terrible. Yeah, they were. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna look for something that's not pop because all of these seem to be pop. What yeah. about dance? Uh, Best dance recording. Ah, that's, that's a good, good one. Best dance recording. That's a really good one. Uh, I'm, I'm just looking for... Hmm. There's rock. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going for. All right, here we go. We'll do... We'll do two more awards here, because I've got one here. Well, no, we're going to do one more, and it's Best Rock Album, uh, and it was The Resistance by Muse, and they beat out Jeff Beck, Pearl Jam, which I, is sad, Tom Petty, and Neil Young. Oh, yeah. Huh. Uh, Muse is pretty good. I like, I like Muse. Yeah, Muse are cool. He makes wrestling videos. <laughs> 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 yes. Anyway, anyway. enough about the Grammys. <laughs> 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 and let's get on to the let's get on to the movies because uh, oh god, did we have some good ones? And that was total sarcasm. <laughs> for, for February 18th, 2011, which was last week, uh, we got Big Mama's House, Like Father, Like Son. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Truly engaging cinema, no doubt. No, no, no. Actually, did you know that this year there's supposed to be uh, 27 sequels being released? Yeah, I heard that. I was oh, like, shows you what? That no original anybody anymore. Mm-hmm. 
Nobody likes original anyway. thoughts. <laughs> what is oh. Then we got. So let me ask the obvious question. Any of you guys interested in seeing Big Mama's house like father, like son? No. No. Oh, good. Me neither. <laughs> All right. Next is I am number four. I know nothing about it. Looks like it's got lots of explosions, though, so, you know. It, it looks strange. Um, who is it that's in it? There's one of the girls from, from Glee that's in it. That's what caught my attention. But yeah, I don't know if it's I've seen the trailer. I'm not... All right. Mm. It, it just looks like a superhero movie. Yeah. Hang on, let me guess. Well, uh, speaking of superheroes, uh, Liam Neeson had a movie, and it was called Unknown, uh, or as I like to call it, Unknown Taken Harder. Uh, you guys interested in Unknown with Liam Neeson? I am, just because of Li- Liam Neeson. I, had, yeah, seen the... I saw the trailer. I was like, yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm, I, I saw the trailer a few days ago, and I thought that, that looks interesting. I like Liam Neeson. So give it a give it a try. Mhm. Right. So, well, that's pretty much it. And then there was then there's the Chaperone, which was the WWE movie, which looks so horrible. It's got Triple <laughs> H in it. We'll just go. I'm just gonna speak for all of us and say, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> pretty much. And we'll move on to February 25th, which was yesterday. Uh, yeah, but. Nobody knows that. So <laughs> we have Drive Angry 3D with Nicolas Cage. Something to do with a devil and a daughter in a car. So oh, yeah. And Nicolas... <laughs> I'd see him. Yeah, with Nick Cage. Badass. Nick Cage is badass. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes. Unless they put him in the sorcerer. Or is it Princess? Oh, or yeah, that's the, the, yeah. <laughs> and finally, and, and again, just like Big Mama's House, this truly looks like engaging cinema. Hall Pass. Yeah, the Fairley Brothers. Uh, <laughs> Enough <no>. said. <laughs> yeah. one, one week off your marriage. Here, take a hall pass. Yep. Let's just screw off and go out with all the girls. Not. Yeah. yeah. Just how often that happens in reality. Never. 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 And I think it was Spoonie who said the last movie that the Farrelly brothers made that was, like, any good was uh, Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think they might be a bit rusty. Yeah, I think so. They're losing it. Hey, hey. <laughs> well, that's it for movies, and it's not looking good. Uh, maybe unknown and drive angry, but everything else looks like horrible, horrible movies. So we're just going to get away from the horrible stuff and move on to weird stuff, because, Mike, do you have some weird news that we can uh, cry and shame at? <laughs> sure, sure. And uh, I guess I'll start with, the video game article I found, which might interest Chris in some sorts. The title is Kissing Control Puts the Passion in the Video Game. That's retarded. Oh. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a controller that you can use by kissing to con- control the video game. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> let me let me just talk about this for a second here. Um, most controllers, at least the ones I have, have been on my floor, have been mm-hmm. in bed, have been in the dustiest areas of my house, <laughs> and. The thought of putting that dusty, dirty, nasty, sweat-covered nastiness against my lips 
uh-huh. is a bad idea. People yeah. are going to get uh, infections and nastiness all over their face. They're going to spend too much time kissing their controllers, and they're not going to get <laughs> real people to kiss, and it's going to happen. No, no, no. Let me, let me reiterate here, because the Iterate. kissing controller has two people kissing to control the game. There's like a oh. little motion detector <laughs> on the guy's tongue as it goes inside the woman's mouth, and oh. the, woman, oh. the lady That's... is has a headset that... Uh, Controls. So, let me get this straight. You have to hook up a diode to your tongue, and you have to put some cords in your woman's mouth, and then just tongue her to get the game to go forward. Yeah. What if you want to play? What if you're playing a shooter game? What if you want to throw a grenade? Do you like lick her cheek? <laughs> I don't know. The, the the example they had for the game was bowling. So. Depending on which, oh yeah, depends, what? I just always wanted to kiss and bowl. <laughs> depending on where you place the tongue, it moves the ball into a certain place in the lane. Oh my god! Oh, god. that's grotesque. So what if? So here's something for you. Uh, here's another thing. Most people who play video games usually play with another guy at their house. <laughs> usually two dudes just sitting on the couch playing a game. <laughs> They're not gonna hook up them diodes. Oh. <laughs> Wanna do some bowling? Got a friendship first. <laughs> I guess that's when you finally invest in a blow-up doll. <laughs> yeah. So, I thought that was pretty interesting, I found out. Let's just where's kiss that be- up where's, and video games. Where's that being yeah, made? What you, just what quit, do you do just if you don't have a girlfriend? Yeah. No, actually this uh, controller was being designed by a Georgia Tech University student. Figures they're down south. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what if you what if you uh, uh what if you don't have a girlfriend? Huh? Or what if you just don't have someone to kiss? How are you gonna play? <laughs> that's why I'm that's what I'm saying. That's why people will finally invest in like blow up dolls just so they can like kiss something to play a video game. <laughs> Or if, it's, or if it's only you in the house and you've got a pet, and that's are we it. that? Oh, are we just, <laughs> are we just, putting away human reaction? Uh, uh, let's, let's yeah, I, I think, oh my god! I think people are obsessed with pushing other humans away. Oh god! Let's have as little interaction with other human beings as possible. Get them to sit down on the couch and just kiss for an hour. <laughs> then they can go. <laughs> and then you know what? You know, I also think that's not even going to work because, because that's going to cause more breakups because they're going to be playing bowling and they're going to start kissing and then the, they're going to get a gutter ball and then they're going to break up. <laughs> come on, we've got to get a strike, baby. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, you come suck. On. <laughs> you only want me to play your games. And then they find out the only, way, <laughs> the only way to get a strike is to lick the tonsils of the other person. <laughs> They start gagging. That's a strike. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's the stupidest uh, thing I've ever heard in my uh, life. Oh, what's the next article? <laughs> oh no, it gets weirder than that. Here's okay. the next one I found, oh, which was. Oh, let's see. This has been a couple of weeks now, but this is really interesting. the The title is. Uh, my kids found porn on Dora the Explorer DVD. Lies. Okay. Apparently, on New York City. Well, I guess I guess I can see that because Dora does wear a belly shirt. <laughs> oh God. Okay, so apparently, apparently the story is that a New York City mother bought a Nickelodeon cartoon DVD called Nickelodeon All Star Sports Day, and apparently the DVD they wound up with was Bubble Butt Bonanza Number Seventeen. <laughs> There's been 17 of those. <laughs> oh. They, oh. She bought it at Toys R Us <laughs> for. <laughs> she bought it at Toys R Us for 13 bucks. And when they turned it on, did they ask them? <laughs> I guess I think so. Did they keep it? I don't know. Maybe she got rid of. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was just they tur the kids turned it on and said, Mommy, look at this <laughs> I see porn all over. I see people <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Oh, oh my yeah, God. there's people dancing. <laughs> no, no, wait. Here, here, let me <laughs> what the sixth grader said. He saw a Caucasian lady and a man, and they were naked. A Caucasian lady? Is that important? <laughs> I guess so. That's what it's... <laughs> they were naked. They don't see Caucasian. <laughs> that's all you really need to know. It doesn't matter. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so stupid. What could you possibly have left to top that, Mike? Uh, the last one I found was... Uh, it's going to be a little weird because Stallion Seaman served up in New Zealand as a new energy drink. I knew it. <laughs> let's contact I have, I have to go with <laughs> Yeah, let's contact Brad yep. again. <laughs> He's already had sperm. I don't know if he'd want bull. No, this, is this is horse semen, not, not bull. Yeah. For when taking horse tranquilizers aren't enough to get you a fix, just drink what comes out of them. <laughs> as I was saying, the horse semen is served as a delicacy at the Wild Foods Festival in New Zealand that's coming up in March. I'm sure they have. They'll they'll have a huge line for that. <laughs> and these are shots. They're, they're in shots, and they're they will sell for ten dollars. Yeah, ten bucks for each shot of horse stallion semen. Ten bucks for a shot? Yeah, for a shot. It's a shot. It's not even like a full can. Nope. It's oh a my shot. god. Yeah, and That's they come disturbing. in cherry and licorice flavors. I thought they'd come in sperm flavor. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I thought that's enough my... flavor for a drink. <laughs> but no, that's they funny. have to get a cherry. I would have cherry. expected just like... Uh, let me quote. Think... Well, if that's the case, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If that's the case, if they're making cherry and licorice flavor, why not just make a cherry or licorice energy drink? <laughs> I don't know. That's too friggin' simple. It's a... gonna have a, have, gonna have a twist to it. <laughs> Liver shots or... Pancreas pot, or... Uh, going from things that are absolutely disgusting to things that are absolutely awesome, we have the most awesome of the week. Um, and since I've kind of been switched here, we're going to start with movies, because I want to go first, so yeah. And uh, yeah. the most awesome movie... Huh, most awesome movie this week is Taken. Because Unknown just came out with Liam Neeson, and it is essentially Taken with just, no, it's Taken. So um, I like Taken. Uh, it's a really good movie. Uh, Liam Neeson basically destroys everybody he comes uh, comes across, and uh, that, if that's not enough to be awesome, I don't know what is. I agree with you, Chris. Taken is a awesome movie. I've seen it myself. Really great action going on. Mm-hmm. I agree with that because I said it. Exactly. We're gonna move on. <laughs> We're gonna move on to Susie because you stole my bit with the most awesome game. So you better have a good one. Oh, I do. I do. Uh, I told you guys about this. Uh, I think the end of last year. I think November or December last year that I was wanting to get this for very nostalgic purposes. Uh, through no technical fault of my own, I didn't get it until this week, and it is the 25th anniversary edition of Super Mario Bros. All-Stars. And it is the most awesome game of the week, because Super Mario Bros. is awesome. I, I was playing Super Mario Bros. 3 last night for about three hours, and I've not played that game since I was nine. So, <laughs> so this is very... <laughs> This is very nostalgic for me, and I learned that I'm crap at playing it now. I was okay playing it when I was younger, but I'm even shittier now. But <laughs> three hours, just... it's a level two. <laughs> yes, basically. I kept running into turtles. I don't know why. It, it wouldn't let me jump. I kept running into turtles. But if I get near a wall, there was a turtle. 
<laughs> oh, I'm just going to jump past the turtle. No, I'll walk into him. <laughs> I was screaming at my Don't TV, but I thought, yay, Super Mario Brothers. So that is the most awesome game of the week because there's not one, not two, but there's four games in one. And it comes with, uh, the, the anniversary pack comes with a soundtrack CD of all of the Mario Brothers themes over the years. And I actually played it in my car. That is how good it is. You Driving down Sweet. the road oh with Super Mario Brothers at the top of <laughs> at the full volume. Out the window. Do, 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 do. <laughs> that is awesome. You know, you know there's, there's a... There's nostalgia, there's there's nerdiness, but that is... <laughs> a bit... I know. <laughs> anyway. Well, since Susie pretty much just stole your thunder for Most Awesome Song, Mike, do you got anything that can top the Mario theme for Most Awesome Song? Uh, in the past, I've... Uh, taken down songs from the 80s, the 2000s. Let's go to the 90s for a awesome song, which is The Offspring's All, All I Want, which is the crazy taxi theme. Hold on oh. a second. You have taken the most ridiculous songs I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I don't care. These were not from the 80s or the 2000s. You picked the Doe song. <laughs> I, I know, that's the... Besides that one, that was a crazy day when I did that. You picked, but, you but, picked remixes that were made probably five weeks ago. <laughs> that was just a weird day, so screw me. <laughs> no, I will not. <laughs> no, you need a controller first to do that. It's supposed to be <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that's next. <laughs> We'll come out with that next. Oh, God. <laughs> Porn, the game! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'll be playing... No, no, you'll be playing the bowling that controls through six, and if your condom breaks, you get a gutter ball. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... So what is your song? Sorry, kind of got off track. Yeah, you guys got to just distract it. I said that it's the offsprings all I want. Oh yeah, crazy taxi theme. Very nice. We came up with the name attack well, I came up with the term attack squad for the for our loyal listeners, the attack squad. Because Mike was thinking attackers, which sounded stupid. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a text at like I got a Skype text from Mike at like midnight saying, what if we call our fan base of loyal listeners? You know how Paul called them the roadies, his fan base? We should call our fans the attackers. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> My... <laughs> Let's not call them the stalkers. <laughs> There's a <No>. stalker. <laughs> no. So I was just like, how about the attack squad or the, the, the squad members? You know, how about the squad? Or the attack squad. That made sense. He was like, yeah, that's cool. So now we go with the attack squad. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> so there's our most awesome. And oh, boy, we are at the random question. Hooray. For those of you who don't know, this is when I come up with a stupid question about five minutes before the podcast and then ask these two to come up with ridiculous answers for it. And uh, today we've got one. If you could spend 24 hours with anybody in the world, uninterrupted, and it goes, like, like perfectly according to plan, like, exactly how you'd want it to be. You can spend 24 hours with anybody, living or dead, doesn't matter, any time period, who would it be? And, Mike, we'll start with you. <laughs> pressure, pressure. Uh, wow. Wow. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Now you got me thinking now, because the possibilities are endless. Uh, well, you only get one. I know. I'm just thinking of a really good one you won't bash me for. Oh, we'll bash you for it anyway. It doesn't matter. So. <laughs> oh, it's 24 hours. Let me see. Uh, 
the only thing that I can think of right now, just spur of the moment, is I would like to spend 24 hours with the nostalgia chick. Mm. I don't even want to hear about it. We're going to move on. Uh, <laughs> uh, who would you have to spend 24 hours with? Because I really don't want Mike to delve into what he's going to... He? No, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, the time door place. <laughs> okay. Save your creepy fan fiction for another pa- your creepy fan fiction for another project. <laughs> okay. If you say so. Susie. Mine... You guys be talking about reviews. I know. No. <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't like the I don't like the tone in that maybe. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, mine is quite easy. Cause he's my, he's my favourite alive actor. It's Tom Hanks, and the the only reason, because I only thought of him about two seconds ago, um, the only reason I say this is because I had one of the weirdest streams the other night where I was at a, I was at a, a comic book oh, convention, oh. I think, and oh, uh, I don't want to hear about. <laughs> It's, it's good. It's good, honestly. It's, I have weird dreams. It, it, it should be a segment on here as well. It's we weird. <laughs> were, um, you guys, were you guys trapped on an island with volleyball? <laughs> <laughs> we were, funnily enough. Uh, it was at a, a random comic book convention. I don't know what it was. And you guys were there. And I had to bring my car, oh, I had to ship my car over to have it exhibited for some reason and somebody stole it so I had I was running around the convention looking for my car and Robert Langdon was there like from the Da Vinci Code like Tom Hanks was there I was like oh my god it's Tom Hanks and they said no I'm, I'm Robert Langdon what can I do for you just said well I've lost my car can you come and help me look for it <laughs> I'd like to sit down and talk about that weird freaking dream it's like what the hell was that <laughs> <laughs> So what were me and Mike doing? Yeah, we were doing there. I don't know. You were in a hotel room and I just said, guys, where's my car? And you said, I don't know, go go and ask Robert Langdon for it. I was like, what? (laughs) And he was down the stairs. Robert Langdon, come and help me find my car. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Then you guys ran all around Rome, nearly blowed up, and you found your car. No, we were running about the convention looking for you the car. You and McGregor stole it. No, I, I don't know what happened to it. I woke up. I just went and asked him if he could help me find my car, and then I so, woke up. What the fuck? <laughs> so, <laughs> so on the basis of a very odd dream where a character played by Tom Hanks helps you find your car, you <laughs> want to spend 24 hours with, with Tom Hanks. <laughs> Yeah, also because he's my favorite actor. Would you be looking at cars? Would you be looking at Is that mine? Is that mine? I guess it's my turn. Uh, I, I think the obvious, uh, what most people would say if they were asked uh, if they could spend 24 hours with anybody, most people would say Jesus, but uh, not me. I would not say Jesus. <laughs> I would spend I would spend 24 hours if I could with uh Dave Thomas who is the uh uh the in- inventor I guess of Wendy's. Uh for those of you who don't know, I work there. And I would go back in time to the day before he started Wendy's and I would kill him. <laughs> but not only that, not only that, I would invent Wendy's myself. Oh, oh, you sneaky little bastard! So you spent and I wouldn't name it after his daughter. What would you name it? I, 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 I would name it Square Burger. <laughs> I would own Square Burger, and I would make a ton of money. 
She said yeah. nothing but square burgers? Huh? She'd sell nothing but square burgers? Oh, and fries and, like, drinks and stuff. It'd have to be square. Yes, it would be, a, it would, yes, it would be, it would be square burgers, and it would be rectangular fries, and it would be drinks that come in, like, square cups. <laughs> you want to buy a cube? They're, a cube of Coke? Think about, the thing about, if I ran square burger, I can tell you right now. There would be none of this crap that they're adding now, like, oh, we have these boneless wings, we have these other differences. No, screw all that. You would have two sizes of burger, you'd have two sizes of fry, and two sizes of drink. And I guarantee you, you keep it simple like that, nobody can screw it up. <laughs> you don't get, you're gonna, sure, sure you'll get some idiot who will come through, can I get a regular burger? And you're just like, we have small and large. You'll be like, I said regular, and I said, I'm going to smack you in the mouth. So, <laughs> you get those idiots. You're not gonna get people who you're, you're not gonna get people who are like I want a burger, and you're just like which one? And they're like what do you have? And then you have to name off twelve different burgers, <laughs> and then they pick the first one that you said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she did have a whole. And then they say, oh, I didn't want any of those, and they pick a chicken sandwich, and you want to murder them. Do you ever just made up any burgers when anybody's asked you that? Just make up some random burger. We have rooster chicken burgers today. We have, we have, we have alligator. We have, <laughs> See, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, there's usually people listening when I'm taking taking orders. Unfortunately, because most of the most people have headsets on and they can hear what I say. So I, I try to keep my insults uh, subtle or. Or I do it when the headset is off. You should, you should do it for the, the day that you leave Wendy's, if you ever do leave it. Just make up a whole random menu. Probably, it's probably not going to be a couple, it's probably going to be a couple of years before I end up leaving Wendy's, because the plan is to graduate college and then, and then uh, scurry the fuck off to Florida. <laughs> All right. Well, that gives you enough time to come up with a, a fake menu. Yes, so does. no one can question you. <laughs> Russell Westerberg. <laughs> unless, unless they're listening to That'll be my there. alias. That'll be my alias. Russell Westerberg. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, but, yeah, I would, I would spend 24 hours with Dave Thomas, steal all his recipes, and then kill him and invent Wendy's myself. <laughs> and then travel back to the future and make a ton of money. <laughs> oh, boy. So that way, at the rightful age of 20, I am a billionaire, I've defeated Mark Zuckerberg, and I will never have to work again. <laughs> Hooray! I could stay <laughs> home and do reviews. Yay. Yay! <laughs> so, <laughs> that brings me now... Uh, to the to the closing to the outro of this of this podcast, we need to wind down a bit. Get our our closing thoughts. Is there anything you'd like to say to our squad members? Yes, it's in in our house in my household on a Saturday. It's officially known as Swarthy Day. It's a day where we have a marathon of How I Met Your Mother on DVD. So I'm going to start doing that just after this podcast. So. Yeah, <laughs> so it's officially Swarly Day in about five minutes. So An excellent closing thought. So, I did have something, but I forgot it. And <laughs> the closing thought is, uh, just, just keep listening to the podcast. That's the closing thought. Just keep listening to us. We'll be back. We'll make it better. We promise We'll get Mike off drugs. We'll have, you know, I'll tell you the next podcast, we're going to have a drug intervention for Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Who says I'm taking so drugs? Okay. I'm not taking drugs. What the hell are you talking about? That's the closing, that's the closing thought. Here's the closing yeah. thought. If you have a friend who is either clearly on drugs or stallion semen energy drinks, as our friend Mike clearly is, yes. talk to them and get them off the semen drugs immediately. Thank you for listening to this podcast. We'll see you next time, guys.
You're listening to the Attack of the Awesome Podcast with Chris, Mike, and Susie. Boink. Boink. Hello. 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 Sorry, I'm late. It's okay. It's only 15 minutes late. Oh, really? That's 15 minutes of my life, mister! (laughs) (laughs) I could have been going to have tea with the queen today. (laughs) I could have been going to have tea with the queen today, you don't know. But never mind. (laughs) Are you? No. (laughs) But I could have. You could have, yeah, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> oh, the blooper reel's going to be long this time. <laughs> oh, <gosh. sighs> That's part. It's only been an hour. We've only recorded for an hour. Yeah, it's been an hour. Yeah, fucking hour. Yeah. Not as bad as, our, not as, bad as our last one, which was like an hour and a half. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? The limit is an hour to hour and a half. I know, but the hour and a half one, uh, we kind of had some problems with our, half the thing being bloopers, but that's okay. <laughs> bloopers are what make us cool. Exactly. Everybody laughs at our mistakes. My mistakes, per well, se. Yeah. <laughs> <Your> mistakes. <laughs> Susie, get, Susie getting disconnected might be considered her mistake, but we're going to blame you for that, too. That's fine. <laughs> Then my mistake. And they ever, they so were, that way we can just go all the way and just say everything that happens on this that is bad is your fault. Yeah. Aww. I don't have to. Just, <laughs> just, just blame the person with disabilities, Asperger's syndrome, and autism, and all that good shit. That's not good. I know it's not good. Well, we're not blaming you because of that. We're just blaming you because you do it. Hey, I guess so. I'm learning something. There you go. We're cheering you. Yay. Hooray. <laughs> with laughter. <laughs> yeah, with laughter. There we go. Now I feel better now. Yep, there you go. You're welcome. Oh, Insulting yes. you makes you better. Yes. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> I wonder if they're going to make a controller that you can control the game just by talking. (laughs) (laughs) Like, there's there's Susie playing Super Mario Bros. 3, and she can control it by talking. She's like, jump! 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 No, don't go in the turtle! (laughs) (laughs) Well, the fucking turtles come out of nowhere. I think it'd be funny, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't Nintendo do that with some headsets? Oh yeah, the um. I forgot. What the hell was it called? I forgot what it was. I remember it's Angry Video right? Game Nerd just just like yeah, like, fire, not... fire, fuck fire. Yeah, it was Konami <laughs> who did that. Yeah, so. <laughs> I don't yeah. know what it was called. It was like something the U Strike. And... Yeah, something like that. I was about. To... It was stupid. I'm really stupid. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I get to, I get to hook up my original Xbox later today. Hooray! Ooh. Hooray! For school. For school. Uh huh. They've got me playing one like the like one of the old Deus Ex games. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And I have to play it for like four hours and then talk about it for school. <laughs> if I do it, I get a good grade. Oh, uh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> what school's that? You do? You going to? <laughs> that sounds cool. Well, I'm going to school. I'm going to school to design video games. Ah. Yep. That's why. That's why you'll see eventually, sometime in the future, Russell Black Whiskers the game. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> The original I look character. forward to it. It's going to be rated at M. For sure. 
uh, I will make sure it is <laughs> rude. Um, <laughs> and you know what? I'm not even, I'm not even gonna care when all the parents. This game look cartoony and fun for my kid, but I'm too stupid to see the little M at the bottom of the cake. <laughs> this game swears. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Okay. And then I'll take all those calls personally. They'd be like, there is swearing and there is violence in this game. I was like, I was like, okay, don't worry, I'll fix this for you. There's a way you can fix this. And we're like, just grab the video game case. Do you have it? Yes. You see the little M down the bottom bottom left corner? Yes. Now turn turn the case over. You see that little M again? Yes. <laughs> what does it say next to it? Uh, violence, war, language, and subthematic elements. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now I want you to take that case, and I want you to put your head inside it, and start to close it. But don't close it yes. all the way. Just let it rest on top of your head for a second. Now take your fist and start bashing it. Start bashing the case against your head. <laughs> if you're lucky, and if you're lucky, the stupid will come out your ears. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for buying my game. Have a nice day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My guy bought this for my eight-year-old. Well, you're a dude. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of issues, Chris. <laughs> you have a what lot kind? of issues. Yeah, yeah, what kind of issues? <laughs> <laughs> With people. <Are> fu- <laughs> oh, full issues. <laughs> Those aren't serious. I'm uh, young. I'll grow yeah. out of it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I won't. I may have people issues, but I don't say it to their face. Yeah. Oh, I long to. (laughs) Right now, I just kind of mumble angrily to myself (laughs) once they leave. (laughs) (laughs) Have a nice day. Yeah, you too, you motherfucker. (laughs) 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 What? Nothing. Have some barbecue sauce. (laughs) <laughs> Mark Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much sums it up Don't there. <laughs> hey, Marky, Mark, what you doing? I'm plotting to take over the world. Of course. Mark. Of course. Oh God, I'm being telephoned. I wonder who's calling me. Oh. Hello! Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. I bet you that's work. <laughs> last time I guessed it, I was right on. <laughs> I was mm-hmm. like, yeah, that was work that called. Yeah, I'm a psychic. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Just call me when you're dead. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. dear. Sorry about that, guys. That's okay. Telephone. 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 Not that song. <laughs> that's that's my ringtone. Oh. Did you get, uh, telephone? Did you guys see Todd in the Shadows review of Telephone? No. No. Oh, it was great. You should go watch it. It's really good. Okay. Uh, that just reminds me of uh, tomorrow is the Oscars. Yay! Oh, yeah, the next podcast we have the winners. Yeah, we get to see who who we guessed is the winners or not. So the next podcast... I have not had, have not had a reply to my uh, Cinema Snob tweet yet. He has not replied yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, we should figure out when we can do the follow-up interview with him, too. Sometime next week. Well, we don't really need to follow up an interview, and he's just... Well, the only new question we'd have was, have you tried Stallion Demon yet? <laughs> no, we, we, got que- <laughs> we, we had questions left over from our, our, our uh, interview. Five, five hour energy, now with more sperm. <laughs> and flavors. Guaranteed. To, guaranteed to wake you up as soon as it touches your lips. They, uh, as soon yeah. as you guys are drinking, will wake the hell up. Apparently, the in the article it says that athletes in New Zealand are using it, and they said it works as an energy supplement. Yeah. And what are they winning? Uh, rugby. Exactly. Eggs. Oh, fuck rugby. Who else plays it? Australia? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, you beat the kangaroos in a game of rugby. <laughs> Good to know all it took was drinking your own spooge to find it out. Way to go. Yes. <laughs> and there's a question for you. Who decided, who decided that that would be the ideal thing for an energy drink? Who was testing that? <laughs> I don't know. It's just it's... What was he looking for? <laughs> No, there was another article. What was, he, what was the man? No, seriously, what was the inventor of that drink looking to do when he had an eight-ounce glass of stallion sperm? <laughs> was he intending to use that for an energy drink, or was he just like drinking the stuff and realized that he could move a little bit quicker? I guess that was... they tested on mice. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did they like... test it on the stallions? <laughs> no. <laughs> because that seems like cannibalism to me. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh god, that's uh, so stupid. No, oh, there, was, man. there was another. Why are people coming up with these horrible drinks? First, there's weed soda, and now there's sperm drink. Good yeah. Lord. Actually. So, I was th- I was reading other articles, and there's one that popped up from uh, London. And there was an ice cream shop that was making ice cream out of human breast milk. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that article. Creamy and yesterday. delicious. And, yeah. and, they, and they're they're calling it they're calling it Baby Gaga. Oh my God! Yeah. Why not just call it Baby Tata? <laughs> oh. Yeah, and they said they're they're looking for candidates to uh, get their breast milk from. <laughs> Is your is your baby a Gerber baby? <laughs> <laughs> I just figured uh, that might be not a good article for the podcast. I think the whole, the stallion spur spur. Uh, I think that one. Yeah, I think that. I think about. Aha, uh-huh, that wins. I'd love yeah. to hear the tagline oh, oh. for for the the advert for breast milk ice cream. Just like mommies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Just like mom used to make. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, we make a lot of weird shit over here, though. Yeah, you noticed yeah. that. Oh, there's another article that I read from uh, London where uh, there's... Uh, I can't remember what building it was, but there was an urban fox that was living in on the 74th floor of a building in London. Oh, no- yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, the Brits are stupid. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, what is a bloody fox doing in a building without no... It was, it was under construction, and the fox was living on the 74th floor. Mm-hmm. You know, the... the oh, it's God. You know, the Italian... Uh, the Italian... The stallion uh, thing kind of reminded me of Nash's last... Uh, what the hell was... What the fuck was wrong with you? Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he was talk- talking about all these beauty products, and they were, like, all made of sperm, and I was like, of course. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the best one, there was, like, there was, like, a hairspray made of formaldehyde, which is poison. <laughs> oh! Okay. Like, seriously, like, I use rat poison in my hair for that extra shine. <laughs> 
I can't. I can't wait. I want to. I want to see like a, an imported commercial for the uh, Stallion Sperm Energy Drink. I can want to see the commercial. It gives me the get up and go that I need for my day. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> some other guy. Some other guy. They're gonna have like a sexual joke. Just be like, I drink it right before bed. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, this was for a, uh, a wild food festival in New Zealand where they feature a lot of weird-ass food. Yeah, the weirdest thing that's going to be there this year is like spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I think I told, told Chris uh, that uh, in 2003 they, they had uh, deer penis. Yeah. I don't know what to Which say to that. <laughs> and, they, and they also... Well, a lot of a lot of the cultures will eat will just eat the penis. That's that's like some that's just some cultures will do that. That makes sense. But to jerk off something and then drink whatever comes mm-hmm. out, that's disgusting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not have, culture. That's creepy. They had a uh, bowl semen too in the past too as well. So they just oh, had yeah. to, they had to add stallion semen to the mix. Of course. Actually, that reminds me of Jackass 2, number 2, where uh, they drank horse semen. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, I, I've, always, I've always hated that show, like, uh, The Fear Factor. You guys ever watch Fear oh, Factor? Oh, I have. No, 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 no. Do no, you no. ever get that over there, Susie? Do you guys ever uh-huh. get that? No? Oh. Yeah, we get well, that over here. Sometimes. Sometimes, like, I'd watch it. It would be, like, a weird kind of, like, mood swing thing with me where it'd be, I'd be like, oh, well, I could I could do that. I could be on this show. And then they'd have to do, like, one of the food challenges. I'd be like, yeah, I'm not on this show no more. <laughs> <laughs> like, just... like, there was, like, one there was, like one episode where it was, like, I think there's, like, two, three challenges per show. And I was just, like, the first challenge was they're, like, in a car. And it's, like, like uh, it's attached to a crane. And they take the crane and they, like, lift the car up. And they, like, have the car, like, bungee cord. So it's, like, bouncing up and down and there's, like, flags all over the car. But you're, har- you're harnessed to the car. So obviously, like, you can't get hurt. But, like, still, that's, like, freaky. Like, you're, like, hundreds of feet in the air and you're just, like, bungee jumping on a co- on a- in a car. And you have to get <laughs> out of the car and you, to- you have to get, like, onto the roof of the car as it's, like, v- like completely uh, vertical. And, like, get the flags off the car, and once you collect all the flags, like, you, like, push a button or something, and there you go, they stop the, they stop the horrible <laughs> bungee. I was like, yeah, I, I was like, I could do that. And the guy does it, and then they get to the next challenge, which is, which was another one. Oh, I could do that one, too. They're, like, these giant, like, spiders, and you um. have to, like, lay in a tank. Like, you, they put you in this tank, and they, like, dump, like, buckets of spiders on you. Oh, And you just, like, have to stay there, like, you have no, to stay no, there no, for like no. a minute. No, no. I said, no. you know what? I could, I could, I could do that one too, because spiders would just tickle me, and they're obviously they're not going to put you. I mean, they're not going to put you in a. They're not going to put you in a tub of poisonous spiders, and like even if by like some, and they like I think they detooth them or something. Like they take off their fangs, so they can't hurt you. It's like you have to get over like that fear, and then they get to something where like you have to and and like. Again, the guy makes it past that. Like, yeah, he lays in the tub of spiders for, like, a minute. And then they get to the, the final challenge. He's got to eat, like, he's got to eat just, like, this giant penis. And he's just like, I can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, that, that would be me. That would be me. And I was like, I could do the bungee. I could lay with the spider. But as soon as you tell me to eat something, Scott, uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <I'm out. laughs> you give the money to that guy. Are you sure yeah. you're leaving? Are you sure you want to... A lead from this show? Yeah. You want to at least try? Yeah. Unless you give me some, like, <laughs> unless you give me, like, buckets of salt and ketchup. <laughs> they, never, they never get buckets of salt and ketchup, because I've heard somebody ask, he's like, can I have, like, some salt or anything? And they're just like, nope, you gotta eat it raw. And they're just like, oh. Ew. And again, ob- obviously, it can't poison you, and it, it won't hurt you. It'll taste, like, horrible, but still. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that works. Yeah. Anyway, I love, watching uh, those, um, mm-hmm. I love watching those horrible shows, though. Like Hoarders. Have you guys ever seen that show? I heard oh, of it. Oh, God. No. Oh. I think a better one, and I think we should probably talk about this show, is uh, 
My Strange Addiction. Oh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> these, people, these people are car wrecks in motion, and it is amazing to watch. <laughs> these people... There was a lady... There was a lady... And, oh, my God, I will never forget this episode because I was in stitches laughing, and I shouldn't have been, but it was so funny. This big, this big, I'm just going to cut. she was black. It's a big black lady, and she was addicted to eating two-ply toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was the addiction. And she wasn't just like, she, she and that was the thing about it. She wouldn't just eat any old toilet paper. Like, it had to be, like, Charmin brand two-ply, and that was all she would eat. And it was, and it's funny because what they do is they show them with, like, family members, and they give them, like, a weirdo intervention for, like, whatever their addiction is. And uh, and then they bring in, like, doctors, like, oh, this is bad for you, and this is what it does. And, they were t- <laughs> and it was funny because the, the big black lady, she's, uh, she carries, like, this big old purse with her. And she's going out to, like, breakfast or something with her sister, who's also a big black lady. And uh, you see her. She keeps, like, reaching into her purse, pulling out little snippets of toilet paper and, like, eating them. And then <laughs> you see her our sister sitting across from her in the most obnoxious, most stereotypical black lady voice. She goes, you know that smells bad for you. And they pan out. <laughs> and they look at the – they pan the camera out, and you see what the other – the sister is eating. She's got, like, plates of bacon and pancakes and sausage and she's like griping at her sister that's bad for you as she like munches down like a shovel full of bacon and the oh, irony God. was completely lost up to people that this other woman is is just like shoveling down bacon and then she's great at her sister for munching on toilet paper yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, and of course they bring in the doctor. Of course they bring in the doctor while they're at like the breakfast, and don't say anything to the lady who's like like garbling the bacon as like he's talking. He's talking to the lady who eats the toilet paper. Like you know that's bad at you. That could cause like a, that could cause a blockage in like your intestines. And you and like like through mouthfuls of bacon, you hear the sister like. Mm-hmm. That's <laughs> I was like, why doesn't the doctor just turn around and smack the sister and just be like, you need to stop what you're doing, too? Yeah. Who commissions oh, God, these shows? You get oh, some of the weirdest it was... crap I've ever heard of in my life. Oh, my God, that show is so great. They have so many episodes, too. There was, like, there was an episode where uh, somebody was addicted to eating soap, <laughs> which is uh, poisonous. <laughs> what he would do was he would, like, go to wash his hands, and he would scrub them, like, really hard so that they got all foamy. And then he would lick the foam. Oh! <laughs> oh, jeez. Wow. They had that. What else did they have? They had somebody who was, like, addicted to eating, like, powdered laundry detergent. <laughs> like, she would do her laundry. And then she would, like, stick her fing- She would, like, lick her finger, stick it in the powder. And, like, she would get, like, a like powder all over her finger and she'd eat that. <laughs> Just to get, which is get as poisonous. <laughs> but I think, I think the best one is definitely the toilet paper lady. But I think a close second was a guy who was addicted to eating glass. Yeah, I've heard of oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah. He would just, just like he would like he would have his wine and then eat his wine glass. Yeah. And they were just like, uh, and as soon as I heard that, I was like, this guy must like have like the most disgusting mouth ever. And of course, they like they did like they showed his mouth. He's got like he's got like cuts on his on his gums and on his lips. He's got like scars on his cheek and his tongue. He's, he peeps, bits of his teeth are missing. Oh, yeah. it's disgusting. It's, it's so tra- bad. But, Is he saving up from doing the it. dishes like, or something? <laughs> I don't know. He just he just can't be bothered doing the dishes. What he does. <laughs> I think I think what the, I think that his intervention, what they did for him, was they they uh they took out all the glassware and they replaced it all with plastic in his house. They took all the glass out of his house and made it all plastic, and he kind of went crazy. He was just like, like he was like suffering from withdrawals. Like he was foaming at the mouth because he wouldn't get any, he couldn't eat any glass. Dear God. But yeah, no, I love watching I... those train wreck shows. 
I'll just stick to watching Glee and How I Met Your Mother, thanks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll Porter, watch them. Porter's like that. Too. Porter's like that, where like it's these people who are train wrecks in motion. Like, um, I've only seen like a couple episodes of Porter's, but I, I'm gonna start watching it now because it's it's crazy. Like there was this there was this family, and they were talking to like their like 12 year old kid, and he they were talking to him, and they were like, oh, what's what's the problem? And he's just like, you know. I, I can never have any friends over because the house is always just so bad. And they're always, and like the, the TV who they send in there, they're always like, yeah, okay. And then they finally get to the house and you just see the utter shock on their faces that somebody could let their house get that bad. Because this house, you couldn't even open the front door all the way. You had to shimmy into the house. That's how <laughs> packed with crap this house was. Wow. Oh, God. Yeah. And it, and the big problem with this woman, and it was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen, What her big problem, which she wouldn't throw away, like, anything, and that included food, Ew. would not throw it away. Yeah. Uh. So, I, I, I swear to God, being be, working for hoarders must be, like, the worst job in the world, especially if you have to be the poor asshole who has to clean out the fridge, especially in this house. Yeah. It was so bad. So, what they do, and this was... And it, it was it was kind of it was kind of funny in a completely horrible way. What they do is they're dig, they they're digging through this woman's fridge and they're grabbing stuff and they're throwing it in the garbage bag and the woman is just watching in utter horror as this nasty food is just being thrown out. And yeah. Oh, thank you for my keys. Yes, um, but you're gonna need to go out at some point before the weather changes and start messing. Okay. Yeah, I know. More than half, and then stop. Yeah, the window's a piece of crap, and my mother's coming to pick me up. We're gonna go out to lunch. All right. Like half Okey an dokey. hour. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of that. Don't worry. Anyway. So um. Anyway, this woman is watching in like utter horror as they're throwing out all this nasty food. Like she's like, no, don't throw that away. I could use that. And they're just like, <laughs> and it's like this brown. It's like this awful piece of, like, cottage cheese that used to be milk. Like, no, you, you can't have this. This is bad. This is spoiled. So they throw it in the garbage can, and she's, like, on the verge of tears. And then they get to the worst part of the fridge. Do you guys know that drawer that has, like, the vegetables in it? It's, mm-hmm. like, the vegetable drawer mm-hmm. like where you keep lettuce and apples? Mm-hmm. They open yeah. it up, and it, there was no, there were no vegetables left in it because they had been in there so long they had degraded to the state of liquid. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And I don't think that the color of this liquid is on the visual spectrum. <laughs> 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 I cannot describe this color. It's somewhere in between brown, black, and green. <laughs> wow. Somewhere mix those colors together, and I'm I'm pretty sure that's what you'll get. That's what color this was. <laughs> <laughs> and they they start to dump it out, and the woman they notice that there's like boxes, like a box of something. I, I think it might have been like actual cottage cheese was like floating in the liquid. And they pull out the box <laughs> and they get ready to throw it in the garbage. And the woman's like, "No, don't throw that out. That's in a box. We can still use that." And the guy the guy takes a look at it. And it like we can't use this bad this expired four months ago and the lady's like well you don't have to go by that those expiration dates are only suggestions <laughs> oh my <laughs> god <laughs> wow she starts like having a fit she's like i want to keep it and they throw it in the garbage and she ah! like she turns into Gollum from lord of the rings whenever they start throwing out her stuff <laughs> oh my god it was god. horrible they, they throw out four-month-old cottage cheese. Bleh, no, don't throw it out. <laughs> oh, it was horrible. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. As soon as I saw them open up that drawer, I was like, Whoa! <laughs> mm-hmm. oh. Jesus. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, that's Hoarders and... Uh, my strange addiction. <laughs> Thanks for <Yeah>. sharing. <laughs> oh, I hope I've given you guys something to think about now. 
Yeah. Don't ever throw everything out always because you never want the hoarders people to come to your house yeah. and develop any addictions because then they'll come and they'll film you. <laughs> I'm addicted to eating wood. You're a weirdo. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, man. I, I also like that show, uh, All Worked Up. Have you guys ever seen that show? Mm, no. Yeah. Or, or Repo Bone Man? Yeah, I've seen Repo. Operation. I've seen that one. Was, yeah. There's one I've seen where uh, they're, uh, repo, they're taking away uh, this guy's DeLorean. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, this, and, this, and the kid comes out, and he's like, no, don't take my DeLorean! And he and he just acts so batshit crazy and punches the hell out of the guys and and he starts <laughs> and and they open the door to, to, to drive it away and he closes the door and says, no you're not taking my DeLorean <laughs> <laughs> and then he starts, no, then he starts like acting like Michael Jackson does these kick moves at him it's like no <laughs> so, I was like don't Take my car. Don't you? <laughs> like, Did he make the noise? It's like Shimona. <laughs> no, I think he didn't do the noises, but it just Shimona. What a high kick! <laughs> the kid, oh man, the kid was like freaking. Oh, I love that show. I saw one. Yeah. Yeah. He sounded crazy. I saw one. Uh, it was a it was a different repo show. It, it was called like Lizard Lick Towing. And uh, they're they're down south, of course, and they're going to take this guy's Mustang convertible, and uh, they're getting ready to they're getting ready to take it, and they they get it up on the they get it into the jacks and they 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 jack it up and they're about to tow it away. The guy uh, is like, "You ain't taking my vehicle!" And he jumps inside. He drives it off the truck, and he drives it into a lake. He's like, you ain't gonna get this car now because I drove it into the river. <laughs> no, and he, and then, and then they, and then the towing guy's like, this guy's so stupid. And they go, you know what? You, you're right. You win. And they go, we'll give you two hundred dollars if you take if you take this cable and hook it up to your car, and we'll pull it out of the, we'll pull it out, and we'll give you a ride home. <laughs> So the guy's like, $200, okay. So they give him the case, <laughs> hooks up his car, and they tow, it out of the, they tow it out of the river. And he's like, all right, now give me my $200. And the guy's like, all right. And he gets ready to pay him, and he's going to give him $20, and he pushes him back in the river, and they run away with his car. <laughs> 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 and it was, hilar- it was the most hilarious thing, because then the towing guy, he goes out to, like, dinner with his wife. They're at a buffet, and uh, the guy <laughs> finds them there, and he's, like, waiting for them outside. And he goes up to them, like, as soon as he, him and his wife are done eating, like, he goes up to them, and he's like, nah, I don't want to start nothing now. I'm, just, I'm here eating dinner with my wife. And he's just like, you owe me $200. And, um, <laughs> and he starts, like, pushing the guy. He's, like, pushing the towing guy. Like, he smacks him in the face. And his his buddy who happened to be like who happened to be he, who was coming by saw it and he he literally and I'm not even kidding you he German suplexed the guy into his own car <laughs> went sent <laughs> sent him right through his own windshield suplexed him into his own windshield and it was the greatest thing I'd ever seen I was in <laughs> stitches laughing because the guy pulled a Kurt Angle onto his, on, the guy Kurt Angled the guy onto his own car, and it was great. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. so yeah, those are the horrible shows I watch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I love them. <laughs> I might, I might vlog about Lizard Lick Towing just because it's that great. I might vlog about one of these shows and just do that because that would be, it'd be a yeah. great vlog just because it's so funny. Yeah, you should. That's that's entertainment right there. Just even talking about it is funny. Mm-hmm. So, um, anyway, I gotta go. I'm gonna go have lunch with people. So, I'll talk to okay. you guys later. All right. Okay, Chris. Adios. Bye. <laughs>